you ready to face the wild and conquer the most dangerous hiking trails in America? Join us as we embark on heart-pumping adventures and push the limits of what we thought was possible. In this video, we'll take you to the edge and back, showcasing the breathtaking beauty and heart-stopping danger of these trails. From treacherous mountain passes to dizzying heights, these hikes are not for the faint of heart, but the rewards are worth it. Breathtaking views, a sense of accomplishment, and unforgettable memories. Stick with us until the end to see if we can survive these treacherous treks and come out on top. Hiking is one of America's most favorite pastimes, with millions of people hitting the trails every year to enjoy the beauty and serenity of the great outdoors. But let's not forget, hiking can also be dangerous. From steep inclines and rocky terrain, to extreme weather conditions and the risk of getting lost, there are many hazards to be aware of. In fact, according to the National Park Service, an average of over 500 hikers are injured and six killed every year while hiking in the national parks alone. When you zoom out and look across the entire country, there are an estimated 4,000 to 5,000 injuries related to hiking each year in the US. Now that you know the dangers present, grab your boots as it's time to hit the trails and see if you have what it takes to conquer these beastly hikes. First up, the maze, Canyonlands National Park, Utah. Located in the heart of Colorado Plateau, the maze is one of the most remote and rugged areas in Canyonlands National Park. This treacherous trail is known for its complex network of canyons and cliffs, making it easy to get lost and disoriented. In fact, the maze is so challenging that it is recommended only for experienced hikers with advanced navigational skills. You don't want to become one of the many hikers per year that needs rescuing by the park rangers. Every year, thousands of hikers brave the maze in search of adventure, but be warned. The maze has a reputation for being unforgiving. With no water sources or marked trails, hikers must be self-sufficient and prepared for the elements. Despite the challenges, the maze remains a popular destination for thrill seekers with its unique landscape and the opportunity to test your survival skills. Staying in Utah, next up is Angel's Landing in Zion National Park, Utah. Are you afraid of heights? Then you might want to skip Angel's Landing. This iconic trail takes hikers along a narrow and steep path with drop-offs of hundreds of feet on either side. Every year, thousands of hikers attempt Angel's Landing drawn by the breathtaking views and the chance to conquer their fear of heights. But be warned, this trail can be dangerous for those who are afraid of heights or do not have good balance. Despite the challenges, Angel's Landing remains a popular destination for hikers with its stunning views of Zion National Park. However, the dangers of the trail should not be underestimated. In recent years, there have been several instances of hikers falling from Angel's Landing with some suffering serious injuries and others resulting in death. Staying in the southwestern United States, next we are tackling Bright Angel Trail in Grand Canyon National Park, Arizona. Looking for a hike that will make you sweat? Look no further than the Bright Angel Trail. This popular trail is known for its steep inclines and high temperatures, making it a challenging and potentially dangerous hike. Every year, Thousands of hikers attempt the Bright Angel Trail, drawn by the breathtaking views of the most famous canyon in America. Still, others come for the chance to push their physical limits. But be warned, the trail can be unforgiving in the summer months, with temperatures reaching well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. If you dare to challenge the trail, come prepared with plenty of water, a map, and to be prepared for intense weather conditions. In recent years, there have been several instances of hikers suffering from heat exhaustion and dehydration on the Bright Angel Trail, with some requiring rescue by park rangers. Leaping across the continent to the East Coast, we next find ourselves at Mount Washington in New Hampshire's White Mountains. Are you ready to take on the highest peak in the Northeastern United States? This challenging hike takes you to the summit of the mountain, which is known for its extreme weather conditions, including strong winds, heavy snowfall, and lightning. Every year, thousands of hikers attempt the Mount Washington Trail, drawn by the chance to conquer the highest peak in the region. But be warned, the trail can be treacherous, especially in the winter months. In recent years, 
There have been several instances of hikers suffering from hypothermia and frostbite on the Mount Washington Trail, with some requiring rescue by park rangers. Staying in the Northeast, next up is the Devil's Path in New York. Looking for a hike that will push you to your limits and test your mettle? Then gear up and head to the Devil's Path in the Catskill Mountains. This 25-mile rugged trail is known for its steep and rocky terrain, as well as its exposure to the elements. Hikers have to navigate through dense forests and across slippery cliffs, making it a challenging and dangerous hike. But beware, the Devil's Path is not for the faint of heart. The trail is considered one of the most challenging in the region, and it is recommended for experienced hikers only. And even then, it can be treacherous. In fact, the Devil's Path has a reputation for being one of the most dangerous trails in the entire Catskill Mountains. Moving to the west, let's turn our attention to Half Dome Trail in California. This 14-mile trail takes hikers to the summit of Half Dome, a famous granite dome in Yosemite National Park. While the views are out of this world, the journey required to be able to enjoy them is also otherworldly. The last 400 feet of the hike require hikers to use cables to ascend the steep slope, which can be especially treacherous in wet or icy conditions. In fact, the Half Dome Trail has a reputation for being one of the most dangerous hikes in the country, with several instances of hikers suffering from injuries or fatalities on the trail. In the past decade alone, there have been more than 50 injuries and at least six fatalities on the Half Dome Trail. Remember, if you're not up to the climb, but still want to enjoy the amazing views, there is always Google. Heading across the Pacific Ocean to the picturesque state of Hawaii, where we find the Kalalau Trail on the island of Kauai. This trail encompasses an 11 mile route that winds along the coast and offers stunning views of the ocean and the surrounding landscape. However, the trail can be dangerous due to its rugged terrain, narrow path, and steep drop-offs. It can also be prone to flash flooding and landslides, which can make it even more hazardous. In addition, the trail passes through some isolated areas, so it's important for hikers to be self-sufficient and prepared for any emergencies that may arise. If you do find yourself stranded, at least you'll have a beautiful view. Did you know that Mount Rainier in Washington State ranks as the deadliest hiking trail in the United States? Hiking Mount Rainier can be an exhilarating and rewarding experience, but it's important to remember that it can also be extremely dangerous. With an elevation of over 14,000 feet, the mountain is prone to extreme weather conditions, including heavy snowfall, lightning storms, and high winds. These conditions can make hiking the trails treacherous and have resulted in over 400 deaths and many countless injuries over the years. Despite the risks, Thousands of people flock to Mount Rainier every year to take on its challenging trails. In fact, according to the National Park Service, over 300,000 people visit the mountain each year. And unfortunately, some of them end up getting injured or even killed while attempting the summit. Whether it's falling off a cliff, getting caught in an avalanche, or suffering from altitude sickness, there are many ways that hikers can run into trouble on the mountain. So if you're planning a trip to Mount Rainier, Make sure you're well prepared and have the proper gear and training to tackle the trail safely. And remember, always err on the side of caution. It's better to turn back than to push yourself beyond your limits. These are just a few of the most dangerous hiking trails in the US. Just because a hike is challenging doesn't mean it's not worth attempting, but make sure you come prepared and follow proper safety guidelines. So whether you're tackling the steep slopes of the Half Dome Trail in California or braving the high winds of Mount Washington in New Hampshire, make sure you're ready for the challenge. And remember, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. Unless you're on the side of a mountain, in which case it's definitely about the destination because, let's be real, who wants to be stuck on a narrow ridge with sheer drops on either side? So grab your hiking boots and hit the trails. Happy hiking!